good afternoon. I'm going to make a hobo dinner for me and my wife tonight. Uh, it's going to be cooked in aluminum foil. It'll be done in the oven instead of over a campfire or something like that. But it can be cooked anywhere just as long as you have heat and uh, ingredients to go into it. The good thing about it is you can kind of go into the refrigerator and what you find is what you put in it and uh, there's no right or wrong way to make it. Just put everything in there that you like, cut it up in about bite-sized pieces, and wrap it up in foil and cook it. First thing you want to do is get out everything you're going to put in so you don't forget anything. And I think I've got most everything out now. I have uh, smoked sausage, onion, zucchini, green pepper, garlic, celery, and some small red potatoes. Oh yes, I need some cabbage, but it's in the uh, refrigerator. I won't forget it. And onion. And uh, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me cut up all this stuff. I'm just going to do it and show you when it's done. Well, I got about half my vegetables cut up. Here's the celery onion, zucchini, and uh, I'm going to put that over on the, divide it and put it on the foil and uh, give me room to cut up the other items. Okay, I have the green pepper and potatoes diced up into bite-sized pieces and about equally divided and they'll go over on the foil. Now the cabbage. Half for one size, side, half for the other. And now the sausage, got a half a stick here, and you just cut it at an angle. If you cut it off square, it makes little round wheels and it'll roll off on the floor. So you want to cut it at an angle. It also gives more surface there for flavor. This is Dickie's sausage here that they sell in their barbecue places and it's some of the best that we've found and it's no higher price than the rest of it. Okay, it's time to season it now, so first will be some olive oil. Just drizzle it over there. That ought to be about enough. And I'm just going to use Italian herb mix. It's good as you can get. It's a mixture of thyme and basil and oregano and I don't know what else. Just give a good dose of that on there. And some minced garlic. Can't get too much garlic on here. Now finally we will fold these up. I'll get this one down out of the way here. So I can work on the other one. And I want to bring it up into a pile and do a size. And roll this very tightly like that. Then the ends of it bring it up. 
and load it up here above. Now what that does, that seals the juices into the bottom of the pack. And the same with this. Get it over kind of in the middle. Boil a long way. Crimp it tightly and roll it and shake it down from the ends and crimp that end up and this one. Now let's see if it's going to fit on the pan. Squeeze them just a little bit and it'll go right in the oven. Now this is going to take about an hour in the oven and it is what time now? It is 3.20 so it's not time to start it cooking yet. So we'll just leave it sitting there and when the time comes I'll put it in the oven. Okay, it's about an hour before we're going to eat so turn the oven on bake. 400. I'm going to set it initially on 30 minutes. And we'll put this in the oven. And I'll check things when the oven goes off. Okay, the oven just went off for another 25 minutes, which makes about 50 minutes in there and it's smelling fantastic. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to get that out on the door. get it off there. There's one. Set that aside. And here's the other one. Here it is at the table. Unwrap this. It is hot. Use a napkin here to give me a little padding between that hot foil and my fingers. Ooh, man, that smells good. Sausage are all swelled in the middle. Potatoes are 
done. Zucchini's done. Taste of this puppy here and see what it what I think of it. I'm gonna take a bite of potato first. It's probably so hot I can't eat it anyway though. Mmm, good flavor. Tastes like it's just done enough. And it was so easy to make. There it is on the table.